good. Team exclusive and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today we of course are back with a brand new episode of The Road to Glory. I believe this is episode 43 so we're approaching the big 5-0 mark very very quickly. Of course we could have reached there a lot quicker if I'd probably done these daily but um, you know pretty much every video has kind of coincided to The Road to Glory so it all kind of you know intertwines into one big happy story anyway uh, as you can tell behind me we do have the new well we have player days back again i don't really know what player days are really meant to be i know last time it was meant to be a bit of like giving back to the community with engagement rewards and all that kind of stuff now it just seems to be this time around more about re-releasing some previous content which i'm not too opposed for um We'll have a quick look at the items in store. I'm sure you've already seen them. Uh, we've got uh, Leo Messi, 95 course, the one weird flex um, that I packed back uh, when it was actually out. We've, of course, got uh, Joshua Kimmich. Kimmich, uh, team of the week, 92, looks very nice. Jaden Sancho, what if? Um, UCL Hazard, record breaker Van Dyke, Kamavinga, future stars. Rule breakers, Di Maria. We've got ones to watch, uh, Ziek Hernandez, headliners. Man of the Match, Quadrado, and of course, Freeze, St. Maximum. Some very nice cards. And again, I'm not too opposed to it. I think it's quite a nice, nice idea re-releasing some cards from previous promos. It's just when they release re-release SBCs, I have a bit of a problem with. Because um, they always, when they release them, it's later on in the game, they release them cheaper. It just seems a bit of like a bit of a, a bit of a slap in the face to the people who actually did do them back in the day. Back in the day. But anyway... Um, I did some player picks earlier, and I, again, I don't want to flex too hard, but um, I should have recorded them because... Why is he still in my... I sold this guy. I wonder what happens if I... I don't want to quick sell because it... Okay. <laughs> okay, well, um, I suppose that teaches me for uh, trying to scan the system. Anyway, um... Did I actually get 10,000 coins? I'm actually really curious now. Okay, no, I didn't. Well, that probably would have got banned anyway for that. Um, but regardless, yeah, I did some player picks earlier and I, I should have recorded them because um, they're actually quite good. They're actually very good. A lot be better than last time anyway. But we managed to pick ourselves up a Rule Breakers, Di Maria, who looks outstandingly garbage. Uh, but, you know, there we go. 88 rated Rule Breakers, Di Maria, which is very nice. But um, we have cars, of course, are going to start with opening our 85 times 5. I did sell Emery Chan um, just so I could do some of the marquee matchups and then uh, and then I went and packed uh, to Stegen, De Vrij and Jimenez all in the same pack which equaled you know to like 100,000 coins almost in um, in profit and then a load of 84 so just outstanding outstanding profit and then we went open those 17 and a half thousand coin packs got some 84s and 83s and that kind of stuff and just basically made made money made money which uh, you don't often say in this game you don't often say but let's give this an open see what we're going to get of course if we can get one of the special cards i'll be very happy a van dyke would uh go down a, a treat it's a walkout oh wait i don't know what that is it's Dean Marie again i got kind of excited because i was like i got confused what uh what flares were from what I pack him out of an 81 plus player pick and then we get him out of the 85. Let's see what's behind him though. There could still be some good stuff. Could still be some good stuff. Oh, yeah, I was really confused then of what I was seeing. But um, uh, inform Danny Ings, get Matt Hommels, Nabry, and Godin. Yo, that's not bad to be fair. Will not argue with that because obviously um, Danny Ings is a bit, it's a bit meh, but he's 85 rated and he's an inform, which is very helpful for. Uh, Pretty much nothing, I imagine. Out of all the players we could have got, I got fucking Di Maria twice. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure where we left off the uh, the video because you would have seen, I mean, it, it would have been seamless for you, but obviously for me, it's a, a good couple of days difference. So I'm pretty sure in the last recorded bit, we did our 85 plus player pack, which of course was depressing. Um, <laughs> as always, it was a uh, yeah, duplicate Rule Breakers Di Maria, which, you know, if they release some icon packs or something like that that requires a high rated squad, we might, um, you know, have to put him in there and obviously get rid of him somehow. But um, 
yeah, what I've also been doing is every time I've been getting like rare players and non rares just sticking them up into player picks. So that's why we've done three. Got a few more got rid of. Um, you know, chance our luck, see what we can get. You never know. There's, there's some good stuff in packs in, 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 in the game at the moment. So you never know. Whether we can pick up anything like that is uh, next to be seen. Do you get 84 Komen? So not terrible. It's obviously, you know, better than having non rares and, and rares and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so get these open, see what we get. Um, I mean, there's nothing really that I would actually really want, to be honest, um, that would actually upgrade the team. But some stuff I haven't tried, like that St. Maximum would be quite fun to play with, um, even though he is a massive downgrade. Hmm. Anyway, rare mix players pack. What are we saying? Come on, imagine the scenes. I mean, at least it's boards, I guess. I guess that's a bonus, but... Um, okay, I mean, I, I take it back. I take it back. That's actually very decent. It's a good 20-odd thousand coins. We'll um, stick them up there in hopes that they release something sometime soon. Maybe. Possibly. Get rid of those. Rares usually do sell, so keep hold of those. As I previously mentioned, sticking some more of those non-rares and stuff into oh yo cheeky Kalor Lavas goes straight into the Nanny SBC. Not bad. I mean I'll take it. An 87 is very good. It's a good return for what we've put out. Five. Um how many did we do? We did five in total. Got 84, 83, 83, and 87. So not bad. Even though we didn't get a special card of any description. Um besides D Maria. Um I don't really want to talk about then um yeah it's, it's not too bad that is not too bad I don't really know what else there's really left to do I mean play days is kind of it's kind of a weird thing because it's it's cool but there's not really a whole lot going on besides obviously player picks and and then releasing like half price packs and that kind of stuff um you know there's not really a whole lot going on I Hmm. What is that? The Inter Milan fourth kit. That's, that's disgusting. Uh, so I guess, I guess we'll uh, we'll try and play some Div Rivals. <laughs> Mention this every single time, every single episode. If you are new to the series, this is the team we've built up over the series. Um, what I would say, and it's worth recommending if you've got some time on your hands and you are a fan of this series. <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't, why you'd watch it if you weren't, but. Um, yeah, if you, if you check out the series, like, you know, maybe not from start to finish, but you can go back to the start and see what we started with, how we kind of progressed, um, you know, doing a few icon packs, how that really kind of just bolstered the team um, and what we've been through, a lot of changes and just the players we use. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Of course, it's developed into a, a very heavily Arsenal pass and present focused team, which is the idea. Um, some of the bench will kind of give that away. But... Um, yeah, just like some of the players we packed, like Tomori, Messi, Maradona, um, this Mbappé quite recently. It's just, it's just, it's just crazy good, crazy good to see where the team is. But yeah, there we go, and it's really good, good fun to play with, really good fun. Doesn't doesn't mean you know, I'll win every game because that's hundred percent not true. So many players that are better than me, but um, yeah, it's really good fun. Just really good fun playing with players that I think are enjoyable, like Thierry Henry. Uh, it just makes the game so much more fun. If I didn't have him, I'd be so bored. So, so bored. He's got a nice team as well. It's a shame it sucks. Through to Maradona. See Kaka at the back. Why have you headed it? Why? Back to Henri. It hit Stegen in his face, man. Are you kidding? <laughs> Oh, go on, Balak. There we go. Puts us 1-0 up in the lead. Good Lord, man. Tough game to be fair. This guy's good. You know, he's got a very good team. He's playing really well. Um, so we're quite fortunate to get through there. Great tackle by Mbabu. Shame the ref is a stinker. Uh, I mean, he got the ball, but fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. Mm. Great save, yo. Blast his head against the 
against the freaking post, but we take it. Go on, I see the run by Kaka. How is he saving that? That's actually insane, man. So Campbell's there. Still can't score. Still, still just unable to find the back of the net with that. Unreal. That's going to be a goal as well. Yep. It was saved by Czech though. Oh my god. What is going on with this game? Some incredible saves. Genuinely incredible saves. Can I get a freaking player please? Campbell's there. All day. We find Thierry Henry. Can keep hold of it. Back. Damn. Damn. It's frustrating. So frustrating. Bang. There we go. Is he on side? He is on side because it's Thierry Henry and we love him. Yes, we do. God damn. What a good, such a good run. I mean, obviously, you'd expect it from prime Thierry Henry. Just a good pass. Put us back in the lead. Things you do love to see. Ah, a bit too early. A bit too late, actually. But either way, there we go. Big dub, in my opinion. Very, very big dub. You do, you do love to see it. Yeah, like I said, this guy was really good. Um, he was tough. He was tough to break down. Tough to get through his defence. And obviously he had a good goalkeeper into Stegen who made, I mean, 10 saves. 10 saves. That's crazy. Insane. But yeah, there's, a, there's obviously his team. It's just, just nutty. Just nutty. But we prevailed as we always do. Two goals for Thierry. One for Balak. The assist go to Henri. Um, Maradona. And that's it. And that's it. There we go. Let's see what opponent we're facing up against this time. Very colourful team, to be fair. Very colourful team. Nice team. He's got that, obviously, that record breaker, David Silva. He's got the player of the month, uh, Iago Aspas and El Nezri, I do believe. Good team. Good uh, little league team. Shame it sucks. Mm. 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 Okay. Bang, there we go, finally. Again, a little bit of concentration because this guy is very good. Another very good uh, defender, but we worked him out. Worked him out just there and managed to slip it through to Thierry Henry, who bags us the first goal. Um, putting us all level, which is always good things you do love to see. Yeah, I see that run. Bang. Bang. I don't know how that's gone in. I genuinely don't know how that's gone in. That is a sensational finish by Diego Kaka. I, uh, things that is th things you do love to see. I I didn't even think it went in. <laughs> I genuinely didn't even think it went in, but it did. See the run by Maradona. Yo, picking him apart now. Oh, no, I shouldn't have passed it back. That was so dumb. So dumb. Okay. Messi. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. That is one of the silkiest goals I've scored to date. Just that quick little ball roll to get past Ramos. Slides it past to Stegen. That is things you do love to see. Go on, keeper. What? I was calling the keeper to go to the ball, man. And he just did nothing. He just like, no, he just wandered across goal. That's so dumb. Henri's away. Bang it, son. There we go. Thierry Henri. God damn. That's deserved as well, to be fair. Like, many times, like, you know, he is good, to be fair, this guy. He does play well, but 
We are better. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, I probably deserved that. I probably deserved that. So, fair enough, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> what I find funny there is that um, he was through on goal and the ref blew the whistle um, eight seconds over one minute when he was bearing down on my goal for an equaliser. That's crazy. Unless he was offside, I don't I don't actually know what happened there. But um, that's mental. He can't have been offside because he never passed it. Mental. I'd, uh, it's, this controller is probably in half because of that. <laughs> Just to see what they sell. It's a lot of the stuff I got from the Mega Pack when they were half-priced coins. Definitely not playing foot champs. For now, it's going to be our third and probably final game today. It's got a very nice theme. It's got that uh, foot birthday Hermoso. Davies, Alaba, Komen. Kind of wish I did that, Komen. He would have linked up quite nicely to a lot of the Bundesliga players I've got, but it is what it is. Oh, and Maradona from there. Oh, my God. What a strike. Yo, you love to see it. I'm pretty sure he's backwards as well. That's crazy. Pretty much was. That's a mental goal, man. That's a mental goal. Right. Okay. Pull straight to him, and he puts in the back of the net. Like, why can't he head it to a teammate? What is... What, what's the issue? I mean, fair enough, I guess, but... Damn, go on. Head again. Bang! There we go. Second time lucky. Doesn't miss those. Uh, incredible. Incredible. We don't actually need to celebrate that. I mean, he wins so many headers. It's crazy. More than most of my defenders do. Mental. Go on, steal that. What? Get in there. <laughs> what is going on? Bang. He's making that run as well. Can he get there? Can he get there? No. Wait. Yes, he can. Bang. There you go. Diego. Diego Maradona. Middle name's Diego, for those who don't know. Um, just takes off the defender. You're trying to be too, uh, trying to be a bit too cocky about it. Marco. Feeds in Kaka. Bang. Goal. What are we saying? What are we saying? Do the celebration to finish things off. I know it's toxic, but you love to see it. You love to see it. There you go. There you go. Is it toxic? I don't know. It's only for people who get offended by it. And honestly, I don't really care. So, <laughs> go on. Marco Royce. On it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Chipped it into his own net. Goalkeeper heads it away. Like, what What even is this game at this point? Yo, Ma uh, Michael Ballack stepped up in that game. Well, I mean... Everyone did, but like, look at that goal from Maradona. Just on the turn, finesse, bang, back of the net. Unreal. Unreal stuff. <laughs> that diving header, though. It was a good finish as well from this guy. I mean, that was a really good finish. It was a really good game. Really enjoyable. Um, obviously, like everyone, he you know played the same like everyone. As um, soon as he went down... Like, he had two goals down. He went ultra pressuring and that kind of stuff. And it just... There's so many ways around it that people just don't think you can deal with it. But it's just it's just so easy. It was uh, it was really refreshing not to play against a Stegen. Like, I could actually feel like I could put stuff in the back of the net. Good assist by Marco Royce. And then Kaka finished it as well. I need to change the numbers. Those are way out of whack. But there we go. Marcus Schroes with an assist, a very, very valuable assist. Messi with one, Henri with one. Good stuff. Goals, two for Maradona, one for Kaka and one for Balak. You do love to see it. You do love to see it. Our CDM scoring bags of goals. I mean, not really, but still, <laughs> you know. But yeah, so for the next episode, we'll stick Benzema in there. Get him down to a centre forward. Put him in there at Cam, see how he does. Haven't tried him yet, so that could be... That could be good fun, but there we go. I think that's where we're going to end today's episode. What a day. 
what a day. Things just seem to be clicking. I, I, I tell you, things just seem to be working. This team is gelled. We found a formation that we we rock with. Um, may not be the most OP formation, but the way we play with obviously those two incredibly fast paced um, side cams with Messi and Maradona, just it's just unstoppable. And then defense, people just can't get past. I would hate to play against myself. Yuri Berdichich, Sol Campbell, Tamori, and um, Mbabu. Like pace for days. Uh, like just un unreal. Check is unreal as well. But either way, hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated, of course. Um, and if you haven't already, um, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. Join us on this journey of having fun in FIFA, doing fun things, not just conforming to the meta, playing with fun players, trying to play with icons that we enjoy and uh, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, do subscribe. Don't want to miss out. It's all good stuff over here. So yeah, uh, either way, um, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time.